Hi guys, hope you're all well. If you're new to Siege Studios, we're a premium miniature painting service with over 30 artists. Here at Siege we offer four painting levels, ranging from our bronze, premium gaming quality, up to our platinum competition standard. For your free quote today, follow the link in the description of this video. So as ever, there would be no better place to start with this awesome Death Guard Nurgle Army Showcase than the Lord of Plague himself, Mortarion. Primarch of the Death Guard, son of the Emperor. Um, what an incredible miniature. Um, the whole army and project has been completed by Simon, one of the artists here at Siege, who um, has had a phenomenal time working on all these awesomely detailed miniatures. So let's jump in and have a look at Mortarion in all his uh, pustuous glory, let's put it that way. Uh, we'll start right at the bottom and work our way up as the miniature is obviously quite large. We've got all of his little nurgling followers and friends here just carrying various little trinkets and things, uh, the cheeky little chaps that they are. Uh, walking across this plagued tundra, let's call it that. Um, obviously there's a few of his little follower friends here. As you can see, a nice scattering of skulls as you'd expect on any 40k model uh, on the base. And then obviously all the little rocks and things all sort of fully painted and highlighted as well. We move up to the man himself, uh, having a look at obviously Morty in all of his uh, disgusting glory. Uh, done in this really, really lovely kind of ivory-esque kind of armour colour, which is just really nice. It really shows off all of this sort of... Uh, uh, rust and grime and grit across the miniature quite nicely uh, and lots of sort of pus and green sort of mucus that sort of hanging down off of various areas as well so I've done a lovely job of just making him look very baroque and ancient looking uh, as well as well as you'd expect all the little sort of details and trim works that are across the miniature um, obviously he's got a very as I mentioned baroque suit of, uh, of armor uh, all the sort of gold work done there through various stages of highlighting we've got a nice super super warm looking gold on the models as well which is just really really nice uh, do like this the stark contrast to the very dirty rusty metal that you can see hanging on the sort of lots of the balls and chains and things um, obviously we've got his weapon silence um obviously just uh, rusted away there as you can see into some of the deep recesses and then we've got obviously the crazy crazy uh, sort of scythe that he's got uh, again all the little details painted fully across nice little bits of sort of uh, grime and pus just on there uh, and then we move around you can see obviously the little textures that have been done just on some of the cloth work if I just get that to focus for you guys you can see all the texture work that's been painted on the cloth that Simon's done uh, just a really really lovely uh, execution across the model uh, move around the back and you can just see the back of Mortadian as well uh, with his uh, sort of all the cloth work done there and some nice texture then we move on to his demonic wings and uh, Simon's really pushed the boat out on this and done uh, lovely amounts of sort of subtle tonal variation on the wings plus also uh, we've got um, the uh, all the veins and everything that have been painted on and all the spots and sort of uh, plagueness that's uh, sort of dripping ooze very subtly down the wings uh, also uh, not been keeping his wings in uh, in good condition by the looks of it uh, but overall a really really lovely execution of Mortarion uh, a great centerpiece character to uh, to dominate the tabletop and your cabinet uh, and that is the first of the characters from this incredible army which we've had the uh, lovely opportunity to work on for our clients uh, so that's Mortarion up next we're going to look at some of the awesome other characters that are part of this force. So next up for the characters for this incredible Death Guard army, we have four awesome miniatures to look at. We've got two incredible foul blight spawns. Uh, we've also got a biologist putrefier. And then finally, to finish off these four models, we have a nauseous rotbone also. Uh, just four great models uh, to really add a lot of character to a Death Guard force. Um, each uniquely with various little intricacies and details. Obviously, there's two of the same character in, in these two. Uh, so let's jump in and have a look. So. Again, right from the get-go, and have a look at this awesome tank of, of sort of pus and grime that's just uh, sloshing around on his back. Uh, so he's done a great job of picking out all the little bits of pus and things and just run off from the armour where it's cracked and things, which is really lovely. Um, the uh, nice kind of pallid sort of tones on the flesh work of the pipes and things and sort of like any sort of skulls and things that are just all skin sort of heads that are sort of just hanging down from the uh, the, the armour. Uh, got his little friend there carrying like what looks like a stick grenade or stick bomb, uh, just uh, carrying one of those as well, but with a lovely sort of orange eye as well, which is really menacing. Uh, but overall, a really lovely, lovely clean uh, finish of this uh, very grimy model, if that makes sense. I do love the, like, the rust runoff from some of the metal work as well. I think it just works extremely well on that sort of ivory kind of bone 
Bane-esque kind of armor color, which is just nice. Obviously, there's two. I'll pull forward the other ones just so you can have a look at the consistency between the two characters, but exactly the same quality and consistency between these two. Uh, so that's just the other one. Uh, then let's have a look at this next chap here. Again, carrying so many vials, it's unbelievable of liquid. Just absolutely loads of things. He's, uh, he, you, can be, you can imagine being very loud when he walks around all the sloshing of liquid. Um, but yeah, so he's done an incredible job of picking out all the little details on this chap. And he's absolutely covered uh, in sort of little areas of detail on the on the armor, on the, all the vials and things. There's a nice sort of texture on the cloth there just between the legs as well. Um, just really, really well executed. And again, the flesh work, nice and pallid uh, to go with, obviously, that uh, sort of ivory kind of skin that this uh, Death Guard army's got. You can see all the little dots of sort of detail inside that liquid as well. Nice refraction of light on some of these cylinders, which is just really, really nice. Uh, so that's this chap. And then we'll have a look at the uh, the final chap, which I do really like as well. Very sinister looking with that sort of shawl over his head as well. Uh, obviously, all the eyes and teeth and everything all fully painted on him. You've got this really cool blade that he's got, obviously, with that kind of like disease and filth like flowing down the middle, uh, which is really cool. And then moving around the back, you can see all the little details. Like, for example, the skinned head there just hanging down uh, nice amounts of texture just on that cloth work subtle texture done on there just to add a bit of sort of make the model really readable so you can tell that's obviously cloth and then we've got this uh, weird contraption on his arm and again I forgot the name of it but if you guys want to put it in the comments um, with obviously a, the syringe and sort of drill and thing like that which is really really cool uh, and obviously the demonic sort of shoulder pad which is awesome so that's just this uh, final out of the four characters which we've got for this Death Guard army and I do hope that you've liked them next up we've got a lot of infantry coming so get ready So after all of those awesome characters and Mortarion himself, we now move on to the vast swathe or horde, whichever you prefer to call them by, of uh, Plague Marines and Poxwalkers, the infantry of this army. Um, really nice selection of models. Uh, again, loads of character on all the individual Plague Marines and also the cheeky Poxwalkers. Uh, so let's jump in and have a look at them in more detail. Uh, right from the get-go, let's have a look at these awesome Poxwalkers. You can see here, uh, Sai's done a lovely job of picking out different color flesh tones throughout of these i've got like a sort of purplish kind of like really sore looking kind of uh tone of skin on these guys which is cool all the little spots and uh, pustules and things all picked out in orange and even the eyes as well all the horn and bone work done again that nice subtle amount of rusting done on some of the metal areas as well so that's just one of these awesome pox walkers obviously there's a load of them so i'm not going to pull every single one forward but what i will do is just pick uh, a random selection of these guys so you can have a look again all the uh, all the bones and crests just growing out this chap's skin uh, that massive belly and then you've got those three sort of pustules in the uh, in the shape of these uh, sort of icon of nurgle as well which is awesome uh, so that's just another one of these uh, of these pox walkers again i'll pull forward a few of them just so you guys can see the different kind of sculpts just so you can have a look at them uh, again really really awesome some awesome models full of character and uh, definitely uh, a, a being that you would not want to meet on a dark night uh, <laughs> so yeah awesome awesome models uh, so that's the uh, really cool pox walkers uh, just pull one last forward oh, and i forgot to show you this sculpt his, uh, his cheeky grin that he's got on his face there uh, but you can see so i've done a lovely job of uh, giving these models the character that they deserve so that's just one of these pox walkers um then let's move on to the, uh, the the Plague Marines from the Force, and uh, we'll start by looking at a champion from the unit. Again, you've got that lovely sort of ivory kind of scheme across across the army. Uh, you can see, obviously, the nice subtle amounts of kind of like texture painted on the cloth, but really subtle, and then you've got that rust just dripping down that cloth or staining that cloth as well, which is really nice. Uh, just just thought, obviously, of, of the narrative based on the model. Again, the green casings on the weapons just works really nicely. You've got a little maggot there just going out the gun, which is awesome. Uh, and obviously, he's got this... Uh, this kind of a plague sword kind of thing which is just awesome so this is just one of the champions from the unit uh, from the middle unit and then we'll just pull forward a few more of these guys so you can have a look um, again he's just got that spewer there that you can see and uh, obviously all the skin and flesh done on the pallid colors to match the sort of and pox walkers and also the other flesh that you're going to see through this video um, but yeah again I love all the pipes that are like intestines and things that's just really really cool um, and then you've got obviously all this green sort of mucus and, and sort of pus just uh, sort of spattering across the models in various areas and 
and, and, and you'll see it leaking out of armor and uh, some of it's a narrative to why there's puddles on the floor as well which is really cool uh, so that's just this chap um, and then we'll pull forward a few of the bolter wielding fellows um, again just from this middle squad so I'll grab some from the back squad as well just show you the consistency from uh, unit to unit and model to model again really really nice sort of even though it's obviously a very grimy style and like it's a really nice clean execution of it as well as in really sharply painted which is just nice all the little eyes and things done on the uh, sort of like the demonic pads are all painted all the sort of uh, sort of tentacles and things growing out the guns in that really sort of desaturated kind of purplish pinkish kind of like uh, color which is nice I do like all the lenses and, and eyes and things are all painted in orange it just really makes them stand out nicely uh, let's pull this guy forward that's got like this giant flail again moving forward advancing let's just get this to focus properly for you there we go uh, and then you can just see all the little bits of rust and things on the metal work um, just done really nicely uh, just to give our client a really clean kind of sort of finish to the miniatures uh, so that's this awesome awesome chap with the flail uh, let's pull some forward from the back squad so you can have a look let's have a look at this plasma plasma dude here obviously just wielding sort of a very kind of uh, heresy era plasma which I do really like uh, again you can see all the sort of pus and things just dripping out of the cracked pool portions of this uh, this armor which just works quite nicely a nice sort of bluish glow on the plasma as well so that's him and he's obviously got a bolter packing all the guns uh, so that's just him uh, and let's have a look at this champion from this unit and you can see he's got the power fist there with the uh, sort of like that sort of uh, Nurgle thing growing out the fist, which is quite cool. I can't remember what it's called. Chuck it in the comments if you know what it is. Um, and you can see the orange sort of visor on him. Again, I like the guarded kind of pose as well. Uh, you know, you don't know what's going to attack you, the fist, the maw or the sword. <laughs> and he's got a bolter. So yeah, so just uh, packing every weapon. And he's got a little chap on his back as well, a little friend to go with him. Uh, so that's the other champion from this squad on the right. Uh, I'll pull forward a few from each each unit just so you can have a look. Uh, let's have a look at one of these guys. I can't remember the name of this gun. You're going to have to remind me in the comments, guys, because I always forget it. Uh, Joe in the office here will uh, be screaming it at the video now uh, because uh, he's a big a big Death Guard and Nurgle fan, but I can't remember it. So put it in the comments because I can't remember. Um, but again, you've got this awesome, awesome chap here with this uh, huge horn growing out of his pad. It's all the little maggots and the things just crawling over his armor. And then obviously this tongue and all the mucus and stuff just out the, uh, the, the belly of him, uh, but done to a really, really clean finish, uh, just really well painted. Uh, so that's just uh, one of the... Uh, those weapons which i can't remember uh, and i will pull forward one of these huge axes at the back over here because i do really like these as well like almost like an execution is kind of like power axe i love the fact that it's got a tentacle just helping him to carry it <laughs> It's just, yeah, and he's got a tentacle rupturing from his helm as well. Uh, and one of the lenses there done, obviously, in orange as well, which just works quite nicely. So that's just this awesome, awesome plague marine. Uh, and you can see the subtle light uh, highlighting down the armor, plus little scratches as well. And that's on all of the models across the force as well. It just works really, really nicely. So that's just another one of these uh, plague marines. Um, following this section, we're going to have a look at the Death Shroud and all of the Blight Lord Terminators, guys. And there's a lot. So they're coming up right next. I hope you're going to like them. So after that absolute swathe of uh, Plague Marines, we now have more of the elite members of the Death Guard army, and we've got some awesome Death Shroud and also Blight Lord Terminators for you guys to check out. 10 Blight Lord Terminators and three Death Shroud, the, uh, the bodyguard of Mortarion himself. Uh, just awesome models. Um, just, yeah, really, really great sculpts. Uh, let's jump in, have a look at them. So starting with the Death Shroud, um, again, so I had a lot of fun working on these. Again, Death Shroud, a lot of character, a lot of background to them and uh, you can see that Sai's done a phenomenal job just obviously doing all the highlighting work and everything across the armoured areas, the metal works, all the sort of grime and detritus that's built up on these massive scythes. Uh, love the uh, sort of, again, those pallid tones on the flesh work, just on the pipes and things. A uh, little bit of like texture just painted on them, just very subtly in some sort of higher saturation of colour. Um, love the sort of tentacles and things, just like holding things for them as well. And then you've obviously got the really subtle texture just painted on those capes, as you can see there, just to, uh, just to show a bit of a weave on that material, on that sort of heavy material material that they're wearing um the champion from the death uh, death shrouds again much uh, much of a uh, sort of more baroque chap with covered with uh, more sort of uh, demonic entities growing out of him like his stomach for example and you can see that real sort of green sort of mucusy stuff that's just pouring out of that more which is <laughs> which is lovely um Move around the back, you can see obviously all the rust and things done. A uh, nice kind of wood grain effect on the uh, sort of handle of that scythe as well there. And again, you've got that texture just on the uh, on the material, the cloth, 
but a really, really lovely mod set of models. Uh, so that's just the champion from the Death Shroud. And the final one, just so you can see the consistency from all the models. Uh, again, here, this other chap here, the wielding the scythe the other way around. Again, you can see all that rust that's just on that uh, on that sort of scythe. And if we move around, around the back, you can see the same consistency on all the edging, all the highlighting, all the sort of uh, rust works that are done on various areas of the metals, uh, all the highlighting done on the gold and the coppers, plus also those lovely um, sort of bone sort of tufts and things that almost kind of destroy a hive thing that's growing at the top of him also. So that's just this awesome final death shroud. Then we have uh, the 10 Blight Lord Terminators at the back, and uh, they do not disappoint. Uh, a really nice selection of, uh, of models, again, with the sculpts of these just being great. Um, always been a big fan of these since they came out. You've got this guy here, obviously, with his uh, rather large stomach, obviously, full of uh, full of probably plague or flies or something. Um, just obviously wearing a very baroque set of chain mail as well. Uh, and then we move around, you see all the sort of uh, flesh just erupting from the armor. Um, really nice, more pastel kind of tones on these, and just, just again, Again, very desaturated so it's not very bright and super sharp it's uh it's just uh, nice and sort of uh, muted to go with the armor color which is really cool again we've got all this uh, green sort of pus and stuff that's just coming out of the armor and i love the way that someone's made it look like this puddle is kind of coming from his armor as well it's almost as if they're sort of like leaving like a, a marshland of, uh, of pus behind them as they're walking forward uh, so that's just awesome uh, so that's just one of the death shrouds uh sorry blight lords and then we'll uh, we'll pull forward a few more of these uh these awesome, awesome models. Again, really do love uh, the uh, the little sort of uh, gribblies and stuff that are just sort of erupting from their armor, which is just cool. Uh, again, you can see a little bit of scratch work and stuff done on some of the casings of weapons, nice sort of wood effects done on the halves of these weapons, like obviously the huge talons and claws just erupting from their armor as well. Now, all of these guys are actually uh, joined so they can be switched for combi plasmas. The, uh, the, the extra parts are done so that they can be switched over for our client, which is quite nice. Again, we've got another chap here uh, just advancing forward again that subtle texture just added to cloth work all the armor done with nice sharp highlighting as you'd expect with us here at siege uh, and again you've got uh, all the sort of little gribblies just bursting out of his armor which is just really really cool uh, so that's just that chap um, and then we'll pull forward one more from that squad and then i'll move across to the other so you can see him got this huge guy here with this massive like sort of flail uh, obviously with that smoke billing out of those braziers there and you can see all the pus and things just dripping out of the armor just really really nicely done uh, and this is just uh, again orange lenses make just work extremely well with the, with the palette and the models um, and then let's pull forward some from the other squad here just so you can see some of the same uh, different poses and things obviously you've got this chap here just firing away with these extra mandibles and claws and things which is cool uh, again all that pus and stuff just dripping out of his armor uh, which is really cool uh, and then move around the back you can see the same consistency across all of these miniatures really really nice i do love the bug sort of face plate on him as well which is quite cool and then we'll pull forward one more just so you can have a look bit of a different pose firing away there the orange lenses really do work with the with these sort of colors with the green as well it just works really nicely uh, and obviously you've got those copper tones as well and the sort of um, more sort of coppery gold than, than sort of a bright super gold on the uh, on all the trims and things on the baroque armor which is just really nice again all that tr sort of dripping of, of pus down the armor to create this puddle almost is, is really cool uh, the lovely subtle amounts of little bits of rust to just on the metal work as well just really works with the uh, the overall scheme so that's just uh, the uh, 10 blight lord terminators and the really fearsome death shroud as well um, up last we have some heavier hitting units for you guys to check out stick around they're up next So to finish off this incredible Death Guard army, we have this awesome set of three Plague Burst Crawlers to uh, add some heavy firepower to the army. Not that uh, they're going to need it with the amount of uh, weapons and things that they're carrying in the army, but these are awesome, awesome tanks to finish off the, the force. Um, again, really done to a really nice standard with lots of attention, care and attention to detail on all the little parts. If we just pull one forward. Now, all three of these are exactly the same, and I will pull forward all three just so you can have a look. Uh, but as you can see, Simon, again, has matched the infantry with that lovely sort of um, ivory kind of armor color. And it really helps with that sort of dark green sort of just uh, to show off. Obviously, this is number two there, as you can see. Some some sort of heraldry still showing through, even though the armor is all rusted and chipped and damaged and uh, with mucus and stuff just hanging out. Love the uh, sort of subtle sort of rusting kind of effect on the tracks. Plus, also, you've got obviously all this sort of, uh, again, that pus and sort of decay and pl plague just oozing out of the uh, sores and, and things of the uh, armor. Obviously, a couple of little spots and things just on the carapace as well, which is really cool. Uh, move around the front, you can see, obviously, that kind of stretched kind 
kind of like skin kind of look as well on this, which is really, really cool. Um, again, you can see all the little pustules and spots and things just growing through. And again, subtle hues of green on various areas just to really add that sort of plague kind of feel to it. Again, really, really nice models. Um, and again, you can see just the other side as well. If you we move around the back, you can see all that lovely weathering and chipping that's been done across the, uh, the armor also. So that's just the first of the three. Uh, let's have a look at the other two. Again, I'll bring them both forward just so you can see the consistency of the models to model. So you can see exactly the same quality across all three of these. Uh, again, really nice finish on these. I do love the uh, the use of the sort of the rusting kind of effect as well as the, you've got the drips of the rust and also at the same time, you've got the drips of the sort of pus and stuff as well, which is just really cool. Uh, so that's just the second of the two. Uh, and then we'll have a look at the final one over here just so you can have a look at that as well again Dame done to the exact same standard and quality uh, love all the sort of pus just building up in the cracked armor plates and things it's just really really cool uh, again all the little spots and things that are just across the uh, the model again, more rust tones just in some of the deep recesses just to show where moisture is collected uh, but just overall a really lovely finish on these models and that's uh, that's the uh, three play burst crawlers to finish up the army guys the whole army is now off to go and conquer the galaxy in filth uh, and in the name of Mortalian and also the Plague God. Thanks ever so much for watching. I'll see you on the next one. So thanks for watching the video guys, I hope that you have enjoyed it. While you're here on YouTube, help us out by subscribing to the Siege channel. We upload at least three videos a week, so make sure you hit that bell icon to be notified when a new video is live. To see more, go follow us on our other social media where you can keep up to date with what we get up to and interact with us. If you're looking to learn from us, we offer online tuition on Patreon and physical classes nationally in the UK. Finally, to get your free quote today, click the link in the description of this video. From all the team here at Siege and myself, a massive thank you for watching the video and I'll see you on the next one. Take care.